Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining my session today for Algeria 2.0. I'm very glad to connect with you and discuss the world of communications and PR in the digital era. So this session has had been recorded for the event management purpose. So I would like to ask you to share with me your question on the chat throughout the presentation. So I'm here, I'm connected on the chat and we'll make sure to answer your questions, right? So when I started my career uh, within the company I was working for, GE, I was the first and the only communicator for the company in North Africa. And people didn't really know the difference between marketing and communications and don't even know um, my role. So one day, one of my colleagues came to me and asked me uh, something. So he said, you are the new communication lady. Could you please order business cards for me? So then I knew that the road will be long. Um, so just to give you a bit of a background, marketing is about promoting brands, products, or services to consumer target groups, while communications is about developing and maintaining relationships with stakeholders and publics. Public relations, PR, is the strategic and tactical use of communication to develop and maintain relationship with the stakeholders and the public. So for me, public relation is the most fascinating, ever-changing, complex, and creative job uh, anyone who loves communication can wish for. But why uh, do an organization need communications and PR professionals if it's not for designing business cards? So let's take a look at a model I really like. Um, this model defines the roadmap of the function of PR and communications. So the first block, the green one, are the business outcomes every organization is expecting to reach. It's about differentiation, engaging stakeholders, authentic advocacy, and building or rebuilding trust and social legitimacy. Then we have five strategic building blocks that are needed to achieve those objectives. And then we we'll see the role of PR professional in these phases, right? So the first one, the, the, core, uh, the core block, the purpose. So we know that a human being cannot feel uh, satisfied if he cannot identify his purpose in life. So it's quite the same for an organ organization. It's, it's DNA. It is the basis of business and communication strategies. So here, the PR professional defines, and he is the creator of the corporate purpose by leading the process for defining the purpose and activating supportive behaviors. But how about brand and corporate culture, the, the orange uh, one? So this phase is focused on aligning the stakeholders' corporate beliefs and values and transforming the corporate, corporate brand into a brand experience. So the role of the PR professional here is the participation in the formulation of the corporate values, beliefs, and principles that build a corporate culture and activate behaviors that are aligned for all employees. And then we have reputation and reputational risk, my favorite one. So leading reputation management is a powerful driver for achieving the most relevant goal, which is promoting the organization's stories through effective reputation management. So the role of PR professional here is to manage and measure reputation, to design reputational plans for, for continuous improvement, but also uh, establishing, establishing plans for tracking and monitoring to mitigate any potential risks. Communication. So communication is actually the blue circle. It is transversal and permanent. Huh? So this phase relates to the implementation of processes that enable communication to align with the business strategy. 
So here, the responsibilities of the PR professional is to build a corporate narrative strategy, generate content, and the development of a corporate communications framework to be implemented through all channels and communication platform. This one is, is very famous, right? And then the last one, which is also transversal and permanent, is the connected intelligence and intangible assets matrix. So it relates to creating an intelligence system that provides capabilities to the PR role and to the organization as a whole. Meaning, for example, so the role of PR professional here is to establish a solid perform performance measurement KPIs. Reputation KPIs, brand KPIs, alignment, engagement, advocacy KPIs. So yeah, we have KPIs in communication. It allow us also to analyze the present and future social trend and create strategies to improve those KPIs and integrate them um, as a critical insight for present and future strategies. So are you still want to ask your PR colleagues to do business cards? I believe not, I hope so. So now let's start talk about our subject today, the PR in the digital era and how it evolved. So I'm involved in, in, on a project and with the team, we have decided to stay connected uh, online. Like uh, I, I thought uh, it would be uh, chatting on WhatsApp or Messenger, whatever. And then I received an invitation for Slack, Slack. And in my head, I was like, oh my God, it's a new platform again. <laughs> so see, as an interpersonal, interpersonal uh, personal communication have changed with digital, communication processes have changed too. So let's see how. So in the old way, com company management and PR professional decided what to communicate. Professional reporters developed stories using both company announcement and their own investigations. Today, company engages with its target audience to tell them the company news, but however, the audiences are super critical and powerful enough to demand the information they want. And self-proclaimed journalists, bloggers without credentials, select what they want to communicate about the company. But what about the core of the, the, the content, what to communicate? So a few years ago, companies communicated what they wanted people to know. But today in the new digital world, companies must respond to questions and rumors that they previously could refrain from discussing. In the old way, we communicated mainly via traditional mass media. But in the new digital way, we need to consider this plus all the online media. Increasingly, companies also filter data to micro-target the desired audiences one-on-one -on -one directly via emails, texting, and social media networks. In the old way, the PR team decided which communication channel to use to tell their stories and which country it wanted to communicate in. But today, stories are picked up by media from another media and reported almost instantly. News reported in one country can spread globally freely and instantly. In the old way, company shows Announcement timeframes. Time frame could be planned over the course of a week, a month, a month or more. But today, in the new digital world, company prepares announcement and select optimal time frame, but must be prepared to answer questions as they arise, anytime, due to the buzz that social media can generate online. In the old way, Company selected general demographic groupings, such as young male in their 20s, uh, retired couples, uh, women with children in the, under 12, whatever. But today, companies are using data to finally target individuals they want to reach, and so on. 
So I can't tell you uh, for P as, a, as a PR professional, all of these changes are quite frightening, challenging, let's say, challenging. So uh, there, is, there are things we need to consider as a PR professional to avoid doing business card in the future. The first thing for me, really, the most important thing is don't take media relations for granted. But dealing with it as dealing with any other relationship we cherish. There is a need to build trust, huh? invest time in connecting with the right people and focusing on building media relations. Today's new ecosystem is that rumors burn fast and die hard. The best thing to, to do in this situation is have a plan of attack that can be carried out swiftly if need be. Get the right technology to support the ability to publish fast, react quickly, and build it into your crisis plan. Then the PR professional need to stay on top of regulations like the GDPR in the US to be able to understand and manage regulation correctly and stay updated. More and more, we see the trend of PR and content marketing coming closer together. The two departments, marketing and PR or marketing and communications need to embrace each other and work together to deliver branded content that builds trust and, and establishes a voice. So let's see today our favorite partner, the press release, as just a tool, an important one, but just one of the many more sophisticated new format uh, we can generate to make an impact. Getting organized and automating tasks is a key also, is a, is a key way to get our time back. So then we can manage all of the other things that need to get done. Using technology is a must to improve work and freely up uh, our time. So part of the new technologies I'm talking about uh, is AI and big data. I am sure it will be uh, discussed during Algeria 2.0. So last time I read that um, McKinsey uh, predict AI will create up to $2.6 trillion in business value in marketing and sales alone. So big data and AI offer a range of opportunities for PR professionals. This is really the way I see it. Big data can help communicator identify topics and track them and measure reputation in real time. This uh, benefit can be crucial during um, a social media crisis, for example. AI also helps identifying communication opportunities in relation to business choices. Big data definitely helps communicators to determine the best timing, location, and tones for an announcement. So AI in, is allowing PR professional to uh, accurately quantify people's feelings and opinions about a brand and compare that sentiment against other metrics like uh, engagement, stock prices, or sales and, and measure media impact more efficiently. So AI and big data have brought, in my sense, three main benefits for PR relations, uh, which are automation, acceleration and accuracy. So while AI is and would be part of the future, repeatable tasks, interviewing sources and developing complex stories with information from multiple sources can never be completed entirely by a bot, by a machine. As such, the first thing PR professionals should prepare for is the impact big data will have on their work, but how? I think really by understanding the technology, reading and learning about AI and machine learning within, of course, the context of journalism and reporting, and follow experts to stay on top of how these advances are being incorporated into newsrooms and, and communications team locally and internationally. So it's really being curious 
and learn. So digital for sure has become an innovative tool that has quickly changed the way public relations company practice their deliverables. But it doesn't mean the PR has died. It's a platform that has become an, an important part of many companies in helping PR experts to explore new area, to, to research and use tools that can be integrated within their existing um, PR practices, such as storytelling. So while the tools may have changed in the digital era, the essential skills are still today relevant. So I really think that PR professionals have the responsibility to hold true to the fundamentals on which the profession is built, which is in my sense, trust, trust and storytelling. So selling an idea or selling a story is about establishing trust at the very beginning. Trust uh, and storytelling are PR's two key fundamental elements that cannot be questioned or overlooked uh, because our client and media relationship depend on them. Sure, AI and automation have no doubt made our lives easier and will continue to revolutionize our profession. But at the center of all, of it all, trust and the ability to tell a unique story cannot be automated. It requires a human touch. So thank you so much uh, for joining the session today. today. I'm, I'm very glad that uh, we could make it. I uh, hope that you send your questions throughout the chat. I will do my best to, to answer. And please, please, let's stay connected on, on social media platforms and stay safe. Thank you so much. Goodbye.